Welcome back to Pintel Consulting's video lessons. This is our final lesson about skins. In this lesson, we'll show you about containers. We'll show you how to create the package that will be your skin. And how to rename each of these. How to save them and why. Now, you've watched us so far to the skin itself. This is what not only your front page will look like, but each of the pages on your website. If you look here in the center though, everything's kind of jumbled together. Where on your site, you'll see that the text is separated out. That's done by living inside of a container. So you want to go to your container. Your container you can choose all of the colors for as well. And as you'll see, when we chose the font, we already decided the font that will live inside the container. You want to start with your body style, choose your background color, and we'll go with, why don't we go with a light purple, because we're making our website a little purple and gold as it is. Maybe choose a border, what kind of border you'd like it to be. Again, remember it will default, or you can choose the width of the border. Scroll on down to title style. The title is this little black bar here. We're going to make that be purple. Now you'll notice when I'm choosing this color, so it looks different than when I chose the color for the background. That is very simply because of these tabs up here. When I chose the background, I was inside custom color. Now I'm inside web. That's the only difference. You can choose a border for the title or you can leave it blank. For our purposes, we're going to leave it blank. And then you'll notice that I've changed this from fixed width to sample one. You want to change the name of the container as well, just so you can keep track. Now we're going to save them. Go into File, choose Save As, and it's going to default to an XML file. Choose Save, name it whatever you'd like, choose Save and make sure that you know where it is that you're saving it. Something that I've done is actually created a folder just for all of the files that will live inside my sample site. Once you've saved it, now you want to go down here and you're going to create a package. You're going to go to Tools, you're going to create a package, and it's going to be a zip file. That's very important. Make sure that it gets saved in the same area where you saved the original file. Click Save. And you've created a skin package. Now you should be done with your basic skin creator. You want to just minimize that though, just in case you need to jump back in there. And in our next lesson, we will be signing into your templated site, show you how to attach your skin, and how to finish making your homepage look the way that you'd like. Hope to see you back!